Minecraft 1.20.5 comes with data pack version 40 and plenty of technical fixes. My name is Sly Slime and I'm here to show you all these changes. Let's start with that change in data pack version 40. It's a change to the loot function set fireworks. The explosions field now contains both the list of explosions in a field called value and the mode field. Both of these are now mandatory if the explosions are specified, but the explosions field itself is optional. Lots of bug fixes in this version for attributes. You can no longer jump up blocks with a very high gravity value set. The safe fall distance and fall damage multiplier attributes now work properly for entities that have non-standard fall damage, including all types of horses, donkeys, mules, camels, llamas, trader llamas and foxes. When your step height is set to zero or a high value, you couldn't move while sneaking. That is fixed in this version. And with a step height of more than two, stepping up sometimes failed if there were blocks higher up, which is now also fixed. And shulker bullets now come from the right place on rescaled shulkers. In recipe news, having more than 128 stonecutter recipes for the same item made the UI break in the multiplayer. That is fixed in this version. And stonecutter recipes now support multiple items of the same result type, but with different component sets. For item components, trading with a villager who wants more items than is available in a stack with a custom max stack size no longer calls stacks to merge despite the size limit, deleting some of the items. In command news, a weird quote in an item predicate error message has been fixed and running a long command from inside a book no longer disconnects the player, which would happen even in single player in recent snapshots. Speaking of network connections, in news for servers, a server which sends the game client invalid data which causes an error now calls the game client to disconnect from that server. And this version also fixes a number of bugs for resource packs, including rendering being broken after changing languages with a custom TrueType font active. TrueType font shifts are now restricted to values between negative 100 and positive 100. The scroller in the telemetry screen now supports translucency, as do the buttons and level icons in the enchanting table. And loading a pack that changes a shader now immediately updates that shader without the need for an extra reload. And those were all the technical changes in 1.20.5 pre-release 2. Thank you for watching, my name is Sliced Lime, and I'll see you next time.